A multi-million dollar incentive package is being delivered to FedEx to move its logistic headquarters downtown. Still, some are skeptical about the latest pilot fiasco with Electrolux. Understandably, but don't count our political analyst Otis Sanford among them. Tonight, he's breaking down why the deal will be a big boost to our community. As the news settles in that FedEx Logistics is moving to a new downtown headquarters, the financial details to make the move possible are coming into view. And what we see are public incentives totaling nearly $30 million. Critics will decry such a lucrative deal, but this arrangement makes perfect sense. Plus, if ever there is a company that has earned taxpayer-funded incentives in Memphis, it's FedEx. More on that later. But first, let's review what's happening. FedEx Logistics, a major subsidiary of Memphis-based FedEx Corporation, will take over the vacant Gibson Guitar Building in the heart of downtown. Nearly 700 employees will eventually occupy the space, and roughly half of them will be transfers from out of town. The company will receive about $3 million in public grant money, and the deal also includes tax breaks worth nearly $29 million over 20 years. Those incentives pale in comparison to the nearly $200 million awarded to Electrolux, which will close this Memphis operation after just five years. The deal with FedEx Logistics also includes guarantees that the workforce will remain above 660. But beyond that, FedEx is already the city's largest private employer. Over the years, it has contributed millions for education, small business development, and various social causes. Simply put, FedEx is not Electrolux. The move downtown represents a major investment in the city's economic growth. And I say, bring it on. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.